we have a matrix C as written here. The question is, how many rows and columns does it have? Well, there's certainly three of one and one of the other, but we need to remember which one is which. The thing to remember is that it's always RC, and that's actually a very common order of different things in, in uh, math and physics and that sort of thing. So the number of rows goes first and the number of columns goes second. So what we say is the uh, rows go this way and the columns go down. You can think of Greek columns for columns, so they go up and down vertically, and the rows go left to right. So the number of rows is just one, the number of columns, the vertical columns, is three. So rows is one, columns is three. And that's it. And we can also think about how this is just a, a one, if this has just one row or one column, we can sometimes call it a vector. This can be a three-dimensional vector in 3D space or just on a three-dimensional plot. So if it's just one row or one column, we can say it's the vector C, not the matrix.